Good morning, everyone. Sergeants, at this time, please start your recordings. Sergeant Martinez, you may begin with the opening statement. Good morning, and welcome to today's New York City Council vote of the Committee on Consumer Affairs and Business Licensing. Participants, please place your, please turn on your video. To minimize disruption, please place your electronic devices to silent or vibrate. Uh, we are ready to begin. Oh, that's my cue. <laughs> uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, uh, my name is Andrew Cohen, and I'm the chair of the Committee on Consumer Affairs and Business Licensing. Uh, today, we will, we will be voting on proposed introduction bill number 1957A, sponsored by Council Member Reynoso, in relation to temporary space for outdoor dining. Uh, I will now turn it over to uh, uh, Council Member Reynoso for an opening statement. Thank you, Chair Cohen. Um, <clears throat> I want to start off with a, a, a story, I guess. Uh, this, in the, over the last three days, on a street in Manhattan, uh, we've had over eight businesses that have opened up and have rehired over 300 employees. Uh, it is the type of conversations we want to be having during this time. We've uh, The COVID crisis has taught us a lot uh, uh, or how little we were prepared. Um, but what it did also put the entire city on pause, including small businesses that are still uh, going to have to deal with the issues of rent, um, to be able to stay afloat. Current guidelines do not allow for uh, significant capacity or any capacity to have indoor dining in our restaurants. Uh, even when we expand capacity, we're talking about 25% at best. Um, and with that many people coming into a restaurant, they still won't be able to make the, the sufficient amount of money to be able to keep, stay afloat in our city. Our restaurants have suffered enough. What we're doing today is codifying into law an opportunity for open dining to happen or outdoor dining to happen in the city of New York. We've seen it so far for three days. Uh, for the most part, it has been wildly successful. Uh, we are going to go through growing pains as a city. Uh, while the outdoor dining happens, everyone's learning on the fly. Uh, but we need to give our businesses the benefit of the doubt. We need to give them an opportunity to learn. And we need to be one united New York City in ensuring that everyone can come out of this on top. Uh, so I want to thank everyone for their support for the outdoor dining bill. I'm looking forward to its uh, continued success. And I'm actually looking for the Department of Transportation to look at this long term and whether or not it's something that we can give to our local businesses uh, on, a, on a yearly basis. I also want to talk about equity. We have huge issues with uh, sidewalk cafes happening in predominantly white and affluent neighborhoods. Uh, the cost of the fee, the architecture, the lobbyists that you would need to get a sidewalk cafe sometimes is extremely onerous for businesses in neighborhoods where uh, the profit margins are very thin. This, uh, what we're seeing today is going to allow for people in the South Bronx, in Central Brooklyn, the Lower East Side, in the Upper East Side, and in Coney Island are all going to have an opportunity to do this with no fee. And I thought that that was extremely important and something we wanted to make sure we did so we could build equity into what we're seeing, uh, given the amount of the effect that this uh, coronavirus has had on mostly black and brown neighborhoods. So again, I want to thank uh, Chair Cohen for giving me the opportunity to speak here and are encouraging all my colleagues to please vote aye. Thank you. Uh, and with that, I will uh, ask the clerk to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on consumer affairs and business licensing, introduction 1957A, Chair Cohen. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Councilmember Reno. So, you know, I, I look forward to maybe in the future, I know this bill has a, a, a sunset in it, but the idea that we could bring equity to making uh, the streets more accessible to restaurants throughout the borough of the Bronx, which I care about, uh, and the city, I think, is a, a very noble cause that I would uh, look forward to partnering, partnering with you in the future, uh, and I vote aye on today's bill. Chin. 
Yes, uh, I wanted to uh, thank Council Member Reynosos. I already see restaurants in my district and other districts utilizing the public space. But I also wanted uh, to remind us that we got to continue uh, to support our street vendors and make sure they, they also get equal opportunity uh, on this. And I vote aye. Thank you. Cool. Hi, uh, Mr. Chair, can I explain my vote? Of course. Yeah. So uh, the, this bill is a good one, but like uh, the, uh, they say, and there's no one size fits all program. New York City is a big city. I uh, think there are certain areas, the outdoor dining on the sidewalks are not good, they, especially in, the, in transit hubs, they, where streets have a lot of uh, vendors, uh, where streets have a lot of bus stops, a lot of air pollution. So I would uh, support the bill uh, with uh, be mindful that DOT uh, when they give permissions, make sure they don't give permissions on restaurants or they want to operate on side streets. Uh, they are already too narrow or too contested with pedestrians or with, uh, uh, with too many buses outside. Uh, so uh, if they can uh, do that, uh, I will support the bill. Uh, thank you. I vote aye. Lander. Request permission to explain my vote. Oh, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Chair. Um, I vote aye, and I'm enthusiastic about this bill, and I've already eaten out in the streets a couple of times, so I'm grateful to Council Member Reynoso, and certainly I share his point of view on equity. I do want to talk about one other kind of equity, which is toward the workers in these businesses, um, because it remains true that, you know, one thing we're doing today is giving street space over to companies like Chipotle and McDonald's, who can take advantage of the street space just like every other business, and they still have the right to fire their workers with no cause at all, uh, with no notice, with no reason. And we see that happen at Chipotle a few times already. Um, and in addition, these restaurants are gonna continue to be doing delivery business as they should, um, but their delivery workers from DoorDash or Instacart continue not even to have basic paid sick leave. Um, and I've been pushing, as some of you know, for this council to pass an essential worker bill of rights that would make sure those restaurant delivery workers have paid sick days and, uh, and fast food restaurant workers and other essential workers are protected from unfair firing so they can speak up when they don't have the PPE or other safety conditions. And it's a big disappointment that this council has not yet taken up the essential worker bill of rights. Um, and you know, I'm gonna vote for this because it's a good bill, but giving street space to restaurants and small businesses while not asking them by not insisting that they do right by their workers when we have very simple ways to do so um, is disappointing. So uh, I hope my colleagues will join the effort to correct that wrong. We could do it. You know, we had a great hearing. Um, those are very straightforward bills. Of course, there's pushback. Businesses, bosses like to be able to fire people without any reason. And if no one's going to make them give paid sick leave to their delivery workers, they're not going to do it. But we could do it. And I hope you'll join me in making sure we get it done. With that, I'm really excited to eat out in the streets uh, every night I possibly can. Uh, and I vote aye on this bill. Brennan. Aye. Jaeger. Council member Jaeger.
Is somebody trying to contact Council Member Yeager? I could call him if. Uh... Uh, Chair Cohen, I have uh, sent a message to Councilmember Yeager. Okay, thank you. Hi guys, am I here to vote? Sorry about that. Oh, good job, Calvin. Yeah, Calvin, you're up. Okay, sorry. Apologize. Did no, I miss all the excitement? <laughs> no, you're bringing it, Calvin. You're bringing the excitement. I know what we're voting for today. Hold on one second. Give me 10 seconds. I apologize. I thought my committee was next, not right now. Um, okay, yes. Is this intro 1957? Yes. Okay, if the clerk wants to call me. 1957, Council Member Yeager. I vote aye. Thank you, sir. I'm here apologize. too. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I apologize. No With problem. Chair, Final vote. All my fault. Vote on introduction 1957A is adopted by a vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Thank you. All right, this concludes our hearing. Thank you.